All right, ready? ready? Three, two, one, one go. Whoa. What's up guys, today we're gonna be building the world's largest weapons. They're gonna be so huge, we might not be able to swing them. We're gonna be basing our weapons off of four different factors. Swing ability, how many people does it take to swing a weapon? Durability, damage, and for the final one, you guys are gonna be voting in a poll to see which one you like the best. Jeff's gonna be building first, let's get started. All right, here's my weapon. No, this is mine. Okay, so guys, this is gonna Dude. be insane. We got Membrane. so many saw blades. We're gonna attach them to this giant piece of it all the way down. It's gonna be a giant saw sword of doom. Jeff, you really uh, like saw well, blades. Well, they are really convenient. Ow, this is a very hot blade. There's a stupid sticker on it that I gotta peel off each individual one. Oh, it comes off smooth. Look how smooth. Ooh, not a big deal. Oh. Dude, you litterer, pick that up. There's a trash can right there. Okay. Dude, yeah. he does it every time. Oh, hey, there's a trash can right here. Guys, don't worry. I'm now no longer <laughs> going to litter. Even though the trash can's right here, we'll, we'll be sure to make it in each time. I give up. <laughs> hey, Chris Lodge, don't, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> You're like from me, you've seen, I've saw blade. Ow. Jeff, there's literally a trash can right behind you. Chris, you're just, you're furthering his. Dude, you want me to just let it blow away? He's gonna keep doing it. And then he expects everyone else to pick up his mask. Just stop. Instead of picking up himself. Dude. Hey Chris, I'm gonna take off the rubber. You're gonna take off the sticker. And then, and then Rob, you actually take off the rubber because I'm lazy. This is your weapon. Okay. Guys, one of the points is, can you swing your weapon? It's gonna be interesting to see if I can even lift this thing up and swing it on my own. Now all my blades are out. Let me show you guys the design. Get close. Come in. Don't be shy. Come in, buddy. Don't be shy. You're holding saw blades. I'm it's afraid. Okay. Hey, it's okay. I'll comfort you. No. I'll protect you. I'll hold you in my arms forever. Anyways, we're gonna put a blade here. We're gonna put a blade like that. And then we're gonna start doing this. Dude, this thing's gonna be Dangy. So what we gotta do is mark where I'm gonna be drilling these holes in and then we're gonna get drilly and it's gonna get dangy up in this pizzy. Jeff, I'm cringing. Why are you cringing? The words coming out of your mouth are making me cringe. Okay, so we're gonna start a marquee hole here. We're gonna do it for each one. Just so we know exactly where to drill each hole. Today. I'm gonna hold it here. I'm, I'm going to make the handle go out to about here. Cut it. All right, we got our handle. Now we gotta attach the handle. Hey Jeff, you know, I like how you're uh, drinking Starbucks while building an apocalypse up. It's mm -hmm. very manly. Mm -hmm. What was that? What was that fruit food drink you just drank, huh? Fruit food drink. It was that... uh, ice caramel cloud macchiato. I'm done. I'm out. It was delicious. Um, so we have some brackets here that we're gonna use like this. And then some littler ones because I couldn't find all those big ones. Littler. We're gonna set these puppies here like so. Then we're gonna drill some of these guys into the top here. Awesome. No! Hey Jeff, uh, quick suggestion. What? What do you want to mount the wood first, so then it has something stable to press against? The prophecy is true. This is gonna be really strong. I'm not sure if it's gonna look good, but it's gonna be strong. I have these these plates here for special design features. Hey Rob, can you grab me that piece of metal right there, please? Thanks. No. Please? Hashtag, not my weapon. <laughs> well, fine, I'll say that to you when you're building your weapon. You I don't need your help. Hey, well. No, well. Hey, well. No, 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 well. Who's well? Well. 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 William. William. Billiam. Squilliam. All right, this is going to take a while. Time lapse. All right, we're going to drill all these holes now. We're going to drill through the table. Put it in the grass. Jeff, I, I don't think you thought this through. Well, I thought through. Well, we'll see if it works in the end. Uh -oh. All right, time to put the saws on. I bought a bunch of bolts, big bolts, to attach these saws on. Jeff, my theory is you're gonna break your weapon before you even swing it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you know if you put it on the grass, it's not gonna crack it. <laughs> what the? 
five minutes later. All right, well, my weapon is complete. I'm gonna see if I can pick it up. This thing's huge. <laughs> no? I don't know how that did, but okay. Dude, you can you just it. fart. <laughs> it's that heavy? Well, it makes it heavier because all the weights at the top. Oh. Dude, I'll be able to swing it. You'll be able to drop it. I don't know if that counts as swinging. Okay, so my giant sword of death is complete. I'm gonna call this weapon since it's so tall, like a skyscraper, but I'm gonna call it the saw scraper. Ooh. Nice, I like it. Dude, this thing is huge, it's heavy, and I can guarantee it's gonna do some damage. Who's building next? Probably next. Okay. Chris, what's your gun diddly idea? I'm making a giant hammer. Oh. So this is the hammer part. Oh. This is gonna make a cool sound when I hit stuff. You should spray paint a black so it looks like that weapon in uh, no, when it's Super blue. Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the point. That's what this is gonna look like. But I wanna make I wanna make it blue. Oh. The first thing is first, we gotta cut a hole through here. Right there. Incredible. Well, let's hope the pencil's good enough. Well, what's your plan here? So this piece of wood is actually pretty light. So I'm gonna be able to swing my weapon by myself. What is? Dude. All right, let's see. Just making it through. Making its way. Slowly but Downtown. Is it all the way through? Slicing right, slow. Slicing. What the? What the? The air inside of it compressed. Maybe you need a sharper eye. Jeff, maybe you need a sharp, sharper brain. Oh! Look at Cooper! He's in the water! Oh, he's going for a swim! <laughs> Aww. You're a good boy. You know that? Thank you. He's getting in again. He's like, round two, round two! Oh, hot, 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 hot! Hot, 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 hot. The first hole is cut. Let's see if it fits. Shoot. Why is there always something that goes wrong? Smack it. Give it a good whap. Like oh, that. Not like that. Push it. Pull it. There we go. See, now we flip it over and we gotta do one on the other side. And we can just use this, to make it easier this time. Next step is to put this piece of wood right through the holes. And they should be perfectly lined up. Flip this around. Here, here, no, no, no. What? Okay, you need to go towards me, this, this hand, my left. There we go. A little bit more, just a little bit. Okay, up just a smidge. Okay, push. Wiggle it. Push. Wiggle it a little bit. Come on. Okay. You're almost there. Push. Ah. Hold on to the barrel. Dude, look how close my hand is to that turd. Ew. That was so close. Hold on to the barrel, bro. Go! Oh, yeah. yeah! I need blue spray paint. Jeff. What? Personal assistant Jeff, can you give me blue spray paint? No. Dude, I literally got you so many things. <laughs> this can't go. That's how you do it. You got this blue? And then you got it. Jeff, why would you spray paint the table? This blue. This one has a little bit of tinge of green, like a tropical. <laughs> wow, you get, you get on my case about spray painting it and now you're yeah. spray painting it? It's already spray painted, dude. <laughs> Everything blue. That should be good, it'll dry nice and fast. Ryan, what are you doing over there? Come over here. Are you trying to hide from the spray paint? Yeah, I can't breathe. Don't worry, no more spray paints, young Satchewan. Young Satchewan? I don't know. So now we gotta drill a hole here, and then one more on this side. My weapon is gonna be really fast to build. Thanks to the wonderful sun, this is dry already. Yeah, I think it'll look better without blue brackets. No one's gonna be looking at the brackets. There's our paint, very close attention. Detail. Sunscreen up. Um, the can go through the table. <laughs> Man, why'd you do that? Hey, Jeff, why'd you do that? <laughs> Jeff, you're irresponsible things. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, Jeff, he's irresponsible things. Well, I'll do it. Don't. No, don't you dare. Okay, I respect that. That's just, I respect that, Chris. This is a respectable build. It's nice, cool. Nice and quick to build. And then uh, it's very clean. We're going to use blue duct tape to make a nice blue handle. I was thinking Wait, about hold on. what? You're not going to drill into. Well, I could bend those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes it look good. Dude, dude this is a solid weapon. This is actually really cool. Oh, dude, I can pick that up easy. So I'm thinking I'm just going to make the handle probably right there uh -huh. just to add some uh -huh. contrast with uh -huh. the. Uh -huh. With the brown wood. This needs to be very delicately placed, nice and professional. 
dude. This looks cool. Well, it's complete. Let's see if I can lift it. Ugh. Oh, I can't. Ugh. It's a big hammer. That looks cool. It's a bit heavy and impractical, but that's how it should be because these are the world's largest apocalypse weapons. So I'm going to call this thing the barrel bopper. The barrel bopper bopped Jeff in the head. No. <laughs> bop it home. Bop no. it. No. <laughs> All right, y'all, are you ready for my weapon to fail? Because I sure am. I love your weapons. When... They're always not thought through. <laughs> They're nubby and they don't work. I have a solid idea in my head and hopefully it turns out well. All right, I can't wait to watch from a distance while I go relax under the tree in the pool. No. For my weapon, I like to make things original and I like to have creative freedom. Bob. We all have creative freedom with our weapons. Anyways, I'm literally gonna carve my own sword design out of these pieces of wood. Dude, are you a blacksmith lumberjack? A blackjack. So I put this two by six on top of this four by six. Gonna cut off the smith. remaining piece right here. Rob, you're a lumbersmith. And smith. screw it together. That's the first step. Rob, you're ignoring me. You're a lumbersmith. And then Ryan, come over here. Get close. Get close and personal. I marked 16 inches, and this is gonna be the handle. All right, here we go. Cutting the first piece of wood. Excuse me. That's not gonna be... Shoot. Rob, do you think through your weapons? Well, look, I can make it, but Chris was like, oh, hey, this isn't big enough. So I wanted to add this to it to give it some more power, you know? No, Rob, I'm saying length. Fine. Rob, this what? block here, move this. This block here... Oh! Dude, it's your ice block. Like, the carver visualizes the masterpiece inside the block and then cuts it out. This is your ice block. Visualize your sword and cut that puppy out. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do in the All first right. place. You got some safety glasses? Nope. You know what? We're the danger bros, who cares? I'm just kidding, Rob, I'm getting safety glasses. I knew it. That old softy. Just a softy. We're gonna drop the handle. Let's go over here, Ryan. So what I'm kind of going for, for the handle, I want something like on the bottom, just a little bit bigger, just so to add some design on there. I'm really curious how Rob's gonna do this. <laughs> and I'm just gonna draw the circle out. There we go. So now we can... Now we gotta uh, carve it out. How am I gonna do this? This is gonna be a task. First, so I'm just gonna get cutty. Yeah, it's gonna take a very, very long time. Wow, really? Yeah. If I had more time, I can make the handle better, but uh, we're just gonna sand down the rough edges right now. So I got 15 minutes left. I don't think it should be called a sawzall. I think it should be called a saw sum. Saw sum. Rob. What? Is that gonna snap? Most likely. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, this part sucks right here. I wish I had more. Uh-oh. Yeah, I just made that so much weaker. In theory, it's a good idea, but we don't really have the right tools. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna have to cut you off. I don't have a lot of time. Oh shoot, this is gonna be really heavy. Can you pick it? Can you pick it up? It would be more comfortable if I had all this room right here, but I don't. Aye. Whoa! Ah. You can lift it. Ah. Whoa! Dude, I don't know what to do. I have 13 minutes left. Dude, there's no way you're gonna make it. I have an idea. We're gonna start hacking away at this thing. Uh, what should be strong enough? So, uh, what are you doing? It so it won't crack. Bro, you just broke No! Bro! My handle! My handle! My, dude, we've never had a minus durability point before you even finished the weapon. Darn it! Oh you just qualified, dude! Wait, no! Watch you out. just qualified! It's not time to make my weapon! You have 12 minutes, Rob, to finish this weapon. Nine minutes, Rob. One more hit with the axe, hopefully it will break. Oh no! Too much! Rob, your weapon looks like one giant splinter. Guys, I tap out. It's finally done. It's called the giant splinter. Don't laugh at me. All right, well, there you have it, folks, the giant splinter. I mean, he... Destruction! We're moving on to the next segment where we destroy stuff and stuff. <laughs> Five minutes later. I forgot about my large nails. It's not done yet. Where's the hammer? Bob, you know it's going to break your weapon even more, right? I don't care. It still has some promise left in it. I don't know about that. I quit. Whatever. It's over. It's over for you, Rob. It's now time for you guys to vote which weapon you like the best. Oh. The saw scraper 
<laughs> the way. She reminds more of a skyscraper than yours is. Look, it's the point of the building. We have the, the barrel bopper and the giant splinter. So vote which one you like the best. So now we're gonna be moving on to the weapon test. So the first test is gonna be a swing test. We're gonna see how many people it takes to swing your weapon. We're also gonna be smashing a watermelon. If you can swing it by yourself, you get three points. If you need one other person to help you, you get two points. You need all three of us to help, you get one point. Hey Rob, you can go first. A little old me. What the? Failure of a weapon! Can I get an F to pay respects in the comments, please? <laughs> Here goes nothing! By the way, I don't need your help, because this is uh, liftable by myself. Liftable. All right, swing away! Ah! I'm an eye, my, so my guy, but toy boy, but the boy, boy, your boy! Holy Nick! Uh oh, I put a hole in the tarp. By the way, Rob is disqualified, but he's just gonna be swinging because the giant splitter is kinda cool. Not! I'm gonna throw us like a javelin. Bob, just don't let this nail hit you in the head. Aye, aye, Captain. Ugh. Whatever, dude. I'm over it. Oh. <laughs> I ripped a hole in the target. Okay, Rob, get out of here. It's my turn. All right, let's see if I can swing it by myself. Gah! Dude, That's this thing is struggling. heavy. He's struggling. Wait, 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 hold on. Is a swing where you have to go from the back to forward? Yeah. I think it is. Because you can't just drop this it. This is a swing isn't just a drop. All right, fine. Did you play so many holes in the tar? It's scary. I swung it. It's still alive. Does that count as a swing? You missed the watermelon. So I still swung. You have to hit the watermelon while you swing in order for it to count. Have one more try? Yeah, Jeff, you get three tries. Dude, I made this way too heavy. This is how I transport it, guys. Like, you know how they hold a sword like this and they run? Like Naruto. I'm gonna freaking have a blood vessel swing in this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you look like look a grandpa. Guys. It's heavy. I think I'm gonna have to ask one of you guys to help me out here. He's gonna have to call in a soldier. All right. I need you to lift it up. And I'm gonna swing it down. Okay, once it gets up, I'm letting go. Okay. All right, ready? Ready? Three, two, two one, one, go! Whoa! Yes! See, direct contact! We Dude. did it with two people, so that means I get two points. Dang. Nice. For my weapon. Watch out, Jeff. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see if Chris can swing it by himself. I think he can. I think he can. I think he can. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> it broke it. it. Broke it. <laughs> it's not very effective though. Dude, Chris, you got three points from that. I couldn't really get a strong swing because it's so heavy. Ooh. Ooh. Now we got destructibility. So we got two more items we're going to be smashing with our weapons. The first item for the destruction test is this wooden chair. If you can break it substantially, then you get a point. Dude. Jeff, your weapon is basically a, a saw blade holder. If that thing is dropped on a foot, those toes are gone. Jeff, what are you doing? Charge! No! Oh! I don't think that did anything to it. Dude, it did nothing. Jeff, your weapon broke! What? Your weapon's slightly broken. What? The it wood right here. The crack. Swing. Flip it over. Dude, your saw blades are bent. It's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna get one more try. We're gonna try to break the, the stool sitting on its side. Jeff's lucky because his weapon's so heavy. It does all the work for him. We yeah. just gotta get it up. Three, two, one. <laughs> no, oh, all. it broke it! It did break it! It broke! Dude, I get a point for that. I broke the leg. Okay, so now I gotta try and destroy the chair. <laughs> Good luck. I don't think my weapon's gonna break it. If you crack any of the wood, Chris, you get a point. Three. Two, one, go! No break. I hit that pretty hard. He gets, he gets two more look shots. It, it's oh, bent. he dented it. That's not broken. Look, oh. at, look at there. You didn't break it. Oh, he I didn't broke break it. it. Hit it one more time. Okay, right. I, I gotta hit it right on the leg. Go! <laughs> oh, he's struggling. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, yeah, that broke it. it broke That's it. Broken. Okay, so you get one destruction point. Dang, oh. I even broke that thing. All right, second destruction of the stick. Ceramic pot. Let's see if we can get a point. So since his handle is almost broken, he's just gonna drop it. 
All right, let's see if I can get a point. I want to guide it down though. You gotta eyeball it. Oh! That's broken. That is, that is broken. Deep. Broken. Chris is in the lead with five points. Jeffrey has four. Well, all I know is even if I don't break this pot, I'll still win. That's Maybe. very true. I'm gonna try and break it though. I'll give you a boost. All right, ready? In three, two, one, boost. Oh, that didn't do anything. What the? It's not broken. All right, Chris, you have one more swing. No, do I have two? All right, Chris, you have two more swings. You still one more. All right. All right, Chris, you have one more swing. Last swing for you, bro. <laughs> Jeff, give me a boost. All right, ready? Three, two, one, boost. Yeah, that's a break. That's that a, break. Is a break. That's totally a break. All right, it looks like you win with six points. I get every single point for today. Well, dang. We don't know about the coolest point. Oh, that's true. If you didn't vote in the poll from earlier, go back and vote in it. Now. Now. And let's see how many ending points Chris has for me. Well, we really hope you enjoyed today's video. Click right here for our previous video. Click right on Jeffrey's nostril for a video YouTube recommends specifically only for you, Timmy Turner. Push around the middle no, and subscribe. It's for everyone else too. No, because it's different for each person. No. Okay, bye.